Okay, it's Tuesday. It's time for our Tuesday update. Um, I want to do the ticker tape sound like the news breaking, but nobody knows what a ticker tape machine is. And if you do, you're old, like, so I'm not going to do that. You can tell I'm wired today. I don't even have coffee. It's my water. But we had staff meeting today, and it was a good meeting. We always enjoy seeing each other, and we have a lot that's that's going on. So let me get to uh, a few of the specifics. <clears throat> uh, this past Sunday was our third Sunday of giving you the opportunity to meet physically. Uh, we're, we're having a very small number turnout, which is super fun with us. It's still faces that we get to see, um, which is very encouraging for us. Um, if you still are attending virtually, either live on Sunday morning or just sometime during the week you join us, uh, we see you. And you're still a very important part of what's happening at New Community Church. But if you, if you feel like you want to join us and jump out, um, there's so few people here. We can easily do physical distancing. We take your temperature. You wear a mask. We would love to have you here. If you feel comfortable, if not, then, then it's okay. But this is what we're discovering as we uh, try to figure out what it looks like to handle uh, the current COVID situation. When we first put everything into place as far as restricted gatherings and no groups and things like that, back in March, it was with the realization or the belief that we would only have to do it for a couple months and then we would slowly roll back to whatever the new normal would look like. Um, we realize now that that is not how things are going to happen. Um, it looks like that we will be in our present situation and and set up probably at least till the end of the year. That's six months away. And what we thought was only gonna last a couple months now has lasted April, May, June, July, four months. We may have another six months to go and it's not sustainable. So we are revisiting all of the things that we put into place to help protect us and trying to figure out, okay, what does it look like now considering that this may go much longer to do this responsibly, but sustainably. So that means several different things. Um, it may mean groups meeting here again. It, it may mean creating some more virtual communities, which we're already in the process of putting into place. So we're, we're, we're realizing we can't just sit and wait, hunker down and wait anymore, that we've got to really be forward thinking. And so we're pressing forward and you will see more as we figure out what that looks like of putting together a much more sustainable and realistic plan of gathering and virtual community, knowing that this could go on a, a, a lot longer. <clears throat> so watch for that. You'll get specifics as we figure it out. Uh, we're going to roll out a couple new things this Sunday, um, but stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> everything is changing all the time, and we have a great staff that's on top of it. <clears throat> um, a couple more things. Um, we've been asked to help with high school graduation. They're gonna to try to do graduations at the stadium at the end of July. They've just asked if we would provide a couple of volunteers and several coolers of bottled water. We're gonna make sure that that's still on track because of everything that's been going on. But we're looking just for a little bit of help and a little bit of donation to help us provide water at graduation at the end of this month. The second thing, and this is something that we did every year, and that's backpacks for kids. Uh, we did have a relationship with one school. We found out there were about two or three churches that had a relationship with that school. So we chose two other schools, Burwell, um, special needs schools that no church had a relationship with. So we've already purchased, this, purchased the backpacks. Uh, we've purchased the Bibles and the creative arts ministry is covering the cost of the Bibles, which just means so much to me. But we will need some help paying for the backpacks and donations for school supplies. Uh, we're requesting that you don't bring school supplies. We're gonna take care of that ourselves just because of all of this. But if you would donate to the Burwell School Supply, uh, you will help us purchase, purchase those. We have a lot of those different things going on that you can give to. Um, our benevolences are picking back up again because the local utilities aren't giving grace for covering utilities anymore. So we're getting more requests. So if you wanna to give to benevolences um, that will help people with utilities, give to the food pantry. We had more 
uh, a couple Sundays ago than we've had here in a long time. So we're still doing the food pantry and to give to all of the equipment that we had to purchase to provide the quality live stream. So in addition to the general fund, just to giving, to keeping everything going and all, all that's going on, um, we've got the, the water for graduation, the backpacks and school supplies for Burwell, the food pantry and live streaming um, that are a lot of different places that if you want to give over and above to the general fund, um, it would go to a very worthy cause. Um, I think that's it. Um, just stay tuned. Every day you'll see another staff update. Um, we have a lot going on and we realize that we've got to stay um, forward thinking and, and really progressive in our understanding of how to keep this going. So thank you for your support. Thank you for sticking with us and uh, have a great week and we'll see you Sunday. Take care.